Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are actually back in Fusion 360. We're actually doing a rendering video today, which is going to be really fun, and it is the texture map controls. So we're going to move over to Fusion 360 and we can see what exactly that is. As you see, there's are some parts that I've already made. I have this nice cube we've used in past videos, as well as a plane, sphere, and cylinder, just to kind of showcase some of these features. So the feature itself is right here, texture map control. We'll click on it. And what it's really going to be doing is we're going to be controlling the image that has been uh, interposed, transposed. It's been, been put or wrapped onto these parts. And some of them have different characteristics already built into the feature, built into the, the texture. So, for example, with this wooden log, this walnut, you can actually see it has like a log effect. There's a center, there's the rings. And that's actually going to come into play very much because there's going to be different uh, characteristics built into this texture. So when you select your object, you have your options for transforming everything, rotating and everything, and moving left and right, which we can see right here. But we also have our projection type. In this case, it is 3D texture. Again, that's because it's making this image as if it's taking the, the uh, surface appearance of a log. And so it does have directional um, restraints and so there's really not much we can do there but we also can change like what axis it's going to be built on and so if we select axis we can actually change what axis this three-dimensional texture is being presented on and we'll click OK and in fact I'm just going to make this body just disappear so we don't have to get confused by it so then we have these guys and you can see I've already put the exact same thing, this carbon fiber kind of texture on all of them. And let's just select the plane. And automatic, in all reality, does a pretty good job of assuming what projection you're wanting. But you can also do, let's say, planar, which is what it's currently doing. You see there's not really any difference. But you can select an axis. And as you change it, it's almost as you're looking at a plane from a different angle, if you want to be changing it that sort of way. Now, there are some other ones. There's also a spherical and a cylindrical, which don't really work for the plane. So automatic. So if we do a planar, for example. You can see it gets kind of wonky, which might be the aesthetic you're looking for. But it's really made for a cylinder, or sorry, a sphere. And you can see with that, they just kind of go to a point. If you look at it as a box, you can see it tries making a box and you kind of get where the corners could be if it was a box, as well as cylindrical, same sort of dealio. You get a, a cap on the top and the bottom and then the rest is just circling around. So really, in all reality, most of the time I would go with just the automatic. It does a pretty good job. And then cylindrical is going to be doing the exact same thing it's automatically assuming you're wanting a cylinder, but if you did change it to like a box situation, it shouldn't be too bad. You might find a corner in there. That actually looks pretty good. Um, if you do a planar, also looks pretty good actually. Cylindrical, obviously perfect. Sphere, also looks really good. So in all reality, the cylinder looks like it can handle any of them and look just fine. Um, Anywho, that is really it, just to kind of showcase that you can move around these textures and these images and really manipulate them how you really want it to get the appearance you're actually looking for for that particular object. Hope you found this quick tutorial really useful. If you do have any questions or comments, I'd really like to see them down in the comments below, as well as any just uses or things that you think that I've missed with kind of showcasing this feature. As always, hope you hit that like button, and I will talk to you guys next time, and keep modeling. We'll see you. Bye.